What's up, y'all? This your boy, CO, and I want y'all to log on to loud.com, the streets online community. The others, holla. You might know me from records like Take It To The House with Trick Daddy, Shut Up. I wrote a few collaborations with artists like Petey Pablo, Little John, Rick Ross, Trina, the list goes on. I like to be a part of something that's new, something that's fresh, something that's original. I think with the music right now, today, it's so programmed. I know I'm a part of being a part of the program as far as writing records for a lot of the artists, but I think this is something that's more genuine, something that's from the ground root. And you get to see a community of artists that's doing so many different styles of hip hop and rap. And I think it's really fresh. I just wanted to be a part of it. When I grew up doing music, I was a, I was in love with everybody from the Fat Boys to Heavy D. Then I came up in the era of being uh, from Miami. I grew up around Two Live Crew and I always thought that they were the best, the, the best group ever. I thought Mr. Mix was the best producer. He had the hottest beats. But it, 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 these producers were so untouchable. Marley Marl, they were all so untouchable that you never had an opportunity to get one of those hot beats. Now the, the community at loud.com has made, it gives you that opportunity. Maybe I'm like a Marley Marl to some kids, or Cool and Dre is like a Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis to a lot of kids. And it gives them the opportunity to be one-on-one -on -one with these artists when you got 10, 15 producers that's giving beats away and saying, let me hear what you got. That's like really cool. Makes you feel real good. With the artists right now in the industry, sometimes they're so scared to try new. They rather stick to the norm or they rather stick to the program instead of stepping out of the box. So this gives, this gives each of the producer an opportunity to see different styles upon their production, upon their music. So it's like, it's really cool. A lot of the guys come with new flavor. A lot of the guys are coming from different parts of the world that you never knew existed. That's really cool. I wish I could see a lot of more young ladies out there tackle the hip hop community. So I think it's a lot of y'all out there that can make a difference in this music industry. Working next door to Cool and Dre or working next door to Beat Nova King, it gives me the opportunity to step my game up as far as a producer, a songwriter, make my beats even better and more incredible because it's a it's a class of producers that's up and coming to be phenomenal i love hip-hop it moves me because it makes me feel good from the slick ricks to the ice cubes when they tell those dope stories big daddy kane biggie pop a lot of those artists, when they tell stories and they paint a picture that's so vivid, three-dimensional, and make you feel like you're there, you're gonna see a lot of more artists come up as well as the Lil Wayne's and the Andre 3000's that when you hear a record, you're not listening for that record for the, the hook or the beat. You wanna hear what that MC has to say. The biggest mistake that a lot of these artists and a lot of these producers are doing now they're getting into the game for the wrong reasons. They're getting into the game for the attention. It's not about the, the attention. It's about making another person feel a certain way. Bring something to the table, not do it for yourself. To, to go to the club so you can look good or take a picture for a magazine. Or, it's not all about that. Hey, log on, loud.com.